Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we got our condor all filled up. We're gonna go down here and get it to get it planting here. Tell you what, we'll just put him over here in 26. It needs to be planted. This thing is a little wide, but it's a lot easier to move around than the. Uh, Seed hawk. Alright, let's switch this over to canola. That's what we're planting. And let him go. Alright, we're seeding and fertilizing with this thing, so good to go there. Alright, let's get back up to, uh, we got our combines up here. We'll get these parked. Let's get this one over there. Because it's not harvest time yet. We're ready for harvest time, but uh, there's nothing to harvest. Not yet, anyway. We'll get there. Okay, got that drop there. Turn around and drop this here. Try not to drive on the crop too much. Uh, actually, I can put this over here. Got room. Okay. Alright, got our combine there. Where's the other one at? Here he is. Let's get it over there and get it parked. Yeah, these have a, a higher capacity on them, so I think we'll do a lot better with these. Just put this one right in beside this one. Alright, this guy's going. He's uh he's moving along pretty fast here. Doing a pretty good job too. I think this tractor was a good investment for our uh, workers, so. And this one's moving along, he's doing his job. So let's get back up to logging since there's nothing else to do but plant right now. Or actually let's finish picking up these bales. We need to get these out of here. So we can move our cedars up here when they're done down there. Alright. Now I don't think there's any more bales down here. I actually met the maximum uh, number of bales. I had to sell all the bales out of this field. I got bales up north, and they're going to go over to the pigs. But uh, yeah, I hit the maximum number of straw bales. So the next time we bale, it'll be somewhere close down there to the probably to the uh, cows. It's kind of funny that there's a maximum number of bales. I hope I don't. Uh, I hope I have enough for the cows when we get to them. Let's see now, where else did I bail? Looks like this field right up here. Yeah, we, we're definitely going to get back into logging. Got to get that done. Got trees around this field I need to cut. Trees around that field, that field, everywhere. Trees everywhere. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to pile them up anymore. I got piles that I need to get up already. I think I'm just going to lay them where they stand, so to speak. Or fell them where they stand. And then just go around with that single loader, that single telehandler, and pick them up.
should have enough to maybe in this field to go over there and unload. Fourteen. Yeah, more than enough. I actually have some left over. I have to come back. So I've been looking at the, uh, they're having a modding contest going on right now. And uh, I saw a mod that would look really good to me. It's called Seasons. But there's a little more to it. It's not just, uh, you know, different seasons. You have to do stuff according to the seasons, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, you have to harvest, you know, in the fall. And uh, when there's snow, you have to plow the snow, and I like that. But you also have to uh, plant when the, I guess, when the soil is, you know, the moisture in the soil is right. And there's a whole lot of different things. If you, if you bale straw bales like this, uh, they eventually will rot, which I think is cool because they do actually uh, eventually rot. Let's see. You know what? I think I'm on storm in this shed. I'd like to keep the bales dry, and that's another thing, uh, if you leave the bales out in the rain with that Seasons mod, they uh, rot. And maybe that's what causes it, I don't know, but I think I'm going to put them in here because it's dry in here. It would be nice to have a dry place to store bales. Now, I'm, you know, I would love to put these standing up, but I don't think the roof is high enough. Let me pull it out and raise it up and see. I don't think it is. I may have to just knock them over. Mm, no, it's not. Barely tall enough to fit them in the front. Ooh. Almost got caught on it. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dump these. What, am I already stuck on the roof? I guess I am. I'm already stuck on the roof. So let me just dump them right here, I guess. Ooh, I may be just stuck stuck. This is not good. Can I not? Can I put this back down? I may have to put this back down first and then bring that sidecar thing up. Back into those bales there. Just kind of push them back. Fall on over. You're going to have to anyway. There you go. Maybe I can get back in there and stack them up with the, uh, the bale fork if I get bored. We got a lot of work to do though, so. Uh oh, somebody's tank's empty. Let me go check on that. Whose tank is empty? It's not him, it's this one. Ooh. Why not? Just go over the railroad track. There's that other auger wagon. I've been looking for that thing. I wondered what happened to it. I left it right there. I guess that means I put something in the silos temporarily. I've learned to utilize the trains. Especially on fields that are close by. Whoa, this thing has a turn. I might have to take it easy on the uh, turn on this thing, on the radius. So look at that. So yeah, any anytime you guys hear me, I don't know if you can hear me mute my microphone, but uh, I'm taking a cough break or clearing throat break or something so if it sounds like uh, some of the audio goes away that is why get this canola in the ground because I think we're out of canola I think we're, we're probably I know we're almost out of sunflower because that's how we got a lot of our money was with that sunflower and the uh, 
soy beans, I sold some soy beans. But mainly it was the sunflower. We hit a ridiculous price for the sunflower. I, I don't, it's probably down now. Let's see. Yeah, it's down now. The uh, Maplefield Mills, where it was at, I've fast time since then. And uh, it was up there. I mean, it was ridiculous. I forgot how much it was. I'd never seen a price that high for sunflower. It wasn't a great demand either. So, just goes to show you, you do have to watch these prices. Uh, I have seen the soybean price get up over 4000 and uh, I, I thought that was crazy because, you know, usually I, I try to sell it around 3000 but uh, I wish it would go up to uh, 4000 I've got some soybean left. If that price keeps going up there at the uh, mill, I may sell some more soybeans. So we'll have to plant soybeans again. Keep running out of uh, product. But that's why it's there. It's there to sell. It's there to make money on. And we're turning and burning these fields. So this guy's going. Looks like he's doing a fantastic job not missing a bit so I may get some more of these condors in the future looks like they're working out pretty good you know the the downside with the big bud and the uh, the seed hawk is the seed hawk misses you can if I did this field I don't know about this one but a lot of the other fields they miss at the ends of the fields so you have to go back and plant those and I'm sure you probably with something that big you should plant in rows anyway but uh, this one, uh, this condor doesn't look like you have to. It looks like it's doing all right on its own. So where were we? What were we doing? We were doing bales. Now I left this field. I didn't bale it. You saw I had the uh, the straw pickup wagon over there. I'm uh, using it a little bit to uh, put the straw down for the pigs. So I think bales is where it's at though gonna be probably a little bit better to do it with uh, with bales because you can put them in there and the downside with a straw wagon is you can only hold 50,000 liters of the straw wagon whereas bales you know you you can hold a larger capacity in the shed and just feed them you know when they need it with the bales just pick it up with a bale spike and go all right I'm gonna put this up and go to the next field so yeah, when I get back to uh, logging, I'll probably do some of it off of uh, off recording. But uh, I'm just going to probably start laying those down where they stand instead of piling them up like that back there. And uh, we should progress a little bit faster that way. Let's see, what do I got over there? Did I never... Oh yeah, I had to stop bailing over here. That's right. I had to stop bailing over here because I hit the maximum capacity of bales. And I still got that one down there to bail too. So hopefully I won't hit maximum capacity again. Let's just turn the cruise control on. Have to slow down a little bit. We'll say this is a uh, whole lot easier way to load bales than the other way. Loading bales the other way, you if you're lucky, you get they uh, got these little hook things that you hook into the sides of the bales and you pick them up and throw them up on the trailer. I remember picking them up with just you know the baling wire and gloves and throwing them up, up there on the trailer. Didn't work too much with uh, square bales. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to pick that up. Didn't work too much with square bales. Only a little. Round bales is... Uh, 
where we had uh, a lot of round bales back uh, back in the day. Now I cut these trees here so I could get to the train better. I need to pick them up. We'll get to them though. Whoop, I'm dragging that one. That's okay, we'll get back to it. We gotta cut all these trees around this field here anyway, and uh, we're gonna cut all these trees. All these, these all gotta go. Even the ones at the train station. I talked to the, uh, who is it, the conductor, or not the conductor, the guy that runs the place, the manager of the train station. He said that we could definitely cut the trees, so we're good to go there. It gets kind of laggy when I get up around the pigs. I don't know if that's because, you know, they're animated or... Maybe I got too much junk up here or what, I don't know. Tell you what, let me put these outside here. That way I can maybe try to put them in there neat. Tell you what, let's go check on them. Let me dump these off here. And let that come back down and we'll go check on our pigs here. See, I think I can get these in here. I'll get the uh, the bale spike and try to stack these in here somewhat neat. Let's get our other tractor over here and see if they need any straw. Or well, I could pull this up, couldn't I? Where's it at? There it is. Uh, no, they're good to go on straw, so. All those pigs. How many do we have now? 230, all right. Probably need to buy some more. We've got money. I may buy some more and uh, see if I can get them to reproduce quicker. And Then when we start selling pigs, we'll, uh, we'll be making lots of money. There's a train in the distance. I hear it. see now the last time I cut through this valley I really messed up so let me you can get stuck real easy down there let me go down this way I'll probably get stuck this way too let's just be honest I'll just I, I may come and bail this or pick it up with a straw wagon hadn't decided yet but uh, we'll get it done I'm sure you don't pick them up this fast in real life, but, uh, hey, it's working here so far. Oop, 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 oop. Pick it up. Here we go. Magic. Picked it up from the back side of it. Even here it's getting laggy. It's got to be the bales. this other way tell you as much as we're using this tractor we'll have to sell it soon Alright, we've met 16 again, so we'll go over and offload these. I better take the road this time. The road less traveled here. So yeah, I gotta cut all these trees out here.
So I can guarantee you that's probably what we'll be doing next time. We'll probably do logging because we got to get these trees cut. Got to get them cut. Especially up here around the pigs. These, we can get rid of these and we could actually cut grass up here. There's plenty of grass up here. Actually, let me go this way. Oh look, they're producing manure. Cool beans. We'll be able to fertilize with a little bit of that. I think the manure will probably come in really big with the cows, so... finish picking up these bales and uh, next time we'll get back into logging probably and uh, we'll try to get our cedars finished up down here looks like some of them may be already done they are so we'll get them moved and uh, like I said get back into logging got to finish up here around field 31 also so we got to get this logging business done got to come back and stump out the stumps and get all of this done here so until next time guys Remember, you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. We'll see you guys next time.